Hey, what's up Trails Collective? Uh, this is Ian here. Uh, at the moment I'm on uh, an island uh, in the middle of the St. Lawrence River. Uh, just starting vacation, um, but I'm excited to uh, get in my hands a shoe I just received this week uh, from Brooks. Uh, it's a new trail shoe called the Catamount. Um, I'm pretty excited to try it on here for the first time. Uh, I don't have all the specs on it yet, um, but uh, looking briefly, uh, it's a shoe that's weighing in for men's, I think a little under uh, 10 ounces, maybe nine and a half ounces. I'm assuming on women's, it's gonna come in a little under nine ounces. Uh, uses a fairly minimal uh, lug pattern design. Uh, look like they're probably maybe like uh, two to three millimeters. Um, not too uh, aggressive there. Uh, it's using one of their uh, racing or uh, tempo uh, midsoles. Uh, it's DNA uh, flash. Uh, it's nitrogen injected. Uh, should have pretty good, um, uh, it's gonna feel I think pretty soft out of the box. Uh, it's gonna have the bounce to it. Uh, they have um, on the uh, outsole, even though fairly minimal lug pattern, uh, using their trail tack uh, outsole rubber. Uh, historically, I haven't been too impressed with Brooks uh, outsole rubber. That's pretty good grip right there. Um, actually surprised, I thought they were gonna slick a lot more. Keep at it. It seems very uh, kind of west centric, a little wussy to me in terms of the actual traction. Uh, maybe on some pretty buffed out groom trails, it'll work well. Um, I don't necessarily have high expectations in that regard, but it'll probably feel pretty smooth uh, for somebody who doesn't necessarily need an excessively uh, technical trail shoe. Uh, it does have a ballistic uh, rock shield in here for some protection. Um, I'll try to put it through a couple paces here uh, on the run and see whether I can feel that. A really uber light technical uh, mesh upper. Looks like it's gonna breathe uh, really well. Uh, it has a laminated um, toe guard and also wrap around the shoe uh, with perforations through uh, on the outside uh, as well as the inside uh, to hopefully allow for some drainage uh, if you're taking it through. Uh, a little bit of a uh, Velcro tab on the back for a gaiter as well as a uh, loop in the tongue. And uh, yeah, I mean, it looks pretty slick. Clearly an all white trail shoe. Uh, looks pretty good out of the box. Imagine it's gonna get pretty dirty uh, in a hurry, but maybe that's part of the intent. Um, I did try it on uh, just a second ago uh, before I started filming here. And um, what I did notice was though, right out of the box, this piece of lamination uh, on the inside, I imagine for some of the integrity of the shoe, uh, was buckling and biting into my arch uh, right below my uh, first metatarsal head. Um, I'm a little concerned about that. Uh, we'll see uh, how it goes on the run, whether that uh, tends to loosen up. The initial bite that I was worried about with the uh, lamination around my forward arch, uh, I don't feel at the moment, uh, so that's good. Uh, they have a couple cords uh, coming uh, between the um, outsole, or not the outsole, uh, the upper fabric uh, for a little bit of uh, support. You won't be able to see it uh, probably too well on the inside, uh, just to give it a little bit more integrity in the vamp. Uh, fairly thin tongue, uh, elasticized, so it shouldn't slip too much. Uh, and then aesthetically, just some nice, um, I guess, appropriate hits. I don't know whether anybody would ever use it, but they've got the My Crew on the inside for uh, longer races. Um, and then the tongue, uh, has a uh, wording hit here of uh, designed and built for 100 miles of run happy. Uh, so it's nice that they're, I don't know, throwing out some of the, uh, the culture pieces. Uh, so I'm excited to try it. Uh, I imagine it's gonna be uh, pretty light, pretty soft, uh, but also feel fairly responsive with that uh, DNA flash. Um, little concerned about the upper, and I'm not sure what the outsole traction is going to do. Uh, but I'm really excited to try it. Um, again, the Brooks Catamount. Let's take you for your uh, maiden voyage. All right, we're in the opening uh, half mile or so. Uh, mostly just a uh, dirt gravel seasonal road, giving them some intentional shots on uh, some rocks. But they feel, they feel good. Uh, they feel, do feel light, responsive. Uh, the couple shots that I've given them, the combination of the uh, DNA flash and the uh, ballistic rock guard, uh, they seem to have uh, decent integrity. Uh, they didn't just buckle over the rocks. 
Um, so, pretty pleasant so far. Uh, we're cruising along uh, like 620 pace. So I imagine an up-tempo uh, effort for most and they feel smooth. So we'll keep going. Dude, cattle guard section, nailed it. So for all of you uh, out there looking for a shoe that will be able to nail cattle guards in your course, dude, check out the Brooks Catamount. Mommy! And for all of you wondering how they performed on the uh, approaching uh, fresh uh, cow pie uh, part of the course, hell no. These shoes are much too white for that. So about four miles in, uh, and the shoes are still moving. They're really smooth. Um, it is a shoe that's snappy, uh, wants to run. Uh, we've been sitting right around 630 miles on mostly rolling uh, just gravel road. Uh, I haven't taken them off into uh, any of the uh, technical rock scrambles yet. We'll do that at the end. Um, but they feel pretty low profile. Like you'd expect out of their um, the DNA flash foam. Uh, they have a six millimeter uh, offset. So it feels pretty efficient and uh, there is good responsiveness uh, in here. Uh, they are eating up some of the rocks underfoot. I can feel the compressions into that rock shield. Um, so I don't know if the shoe is designed to take sustained sharp hits on a really technical trail. But for most people, oh, they'll do all right. Imagine for a course like Vermont 100, that would be their calling card. Eastern states, maybe not so much. Maybe that, that wussy western states, sure man, they'll fire there. But uh, not so much the burlier eastern. So we'll uh, keep rolling. And again, I'll try to get them on some technical stuff toward the end of this loop. All right, so they're still feeling uh, pretty good. About six miles in here to this loop. I'm gonna get off of the uh, just gravel road and start uh, heading up into um, ungroomed, more technical stuff. Uh, we'll see how they do. So far, what I'm noticing is if my foot gets sent a little off camber, I think <clears throat> I think the upper is just so minimal that it's not preventing the uh, torsion. So I find myself pitching over in the toe box uh, just a little bit. Um, I don't know what the balance there would be in this shoe. I guess they'd have to add... I don't know, they just have to re redesign the upper a bit. Um, it's not bad, it's nothing um, really that would be much of like a negative review per se, it's just a consideration in terms of maybe where the shoes are uh, really designed for. Uh, the island that I'm on, the rock has pretty good, uh, gr some grit to it. Um, So they're grabbing well. Uh, whereas uh, back in Ithaca, where I live, where there's some more uh, bluestone or shale, uh, I'm not sure whether they'd get that. But for most of our region, um, Catskills, Alleghenies, Adirondacks, uh, outsole is gripping actually pretty well. Um, so again, a pleasant uh, surprise there. 
so far in this um, technical stuff, a little hummocky. Um, but yeah, I still notice myself pitching over the shoe just a little bit. So it's not that they're not taking the, uh, the rock shots. They seem to be eating that up okay. It's just more the off-camber technicality which doesn't feel like it's totally their thing. Um, but otherwise, uh, they're, they're good. Uh, I think somebody who's after a pretty uh, snappy, uh, responsive shoe, uh, again, this is coming in a little under 10 ounces men's, I think a little under, there's like nine and a half ounce men's, probably a bit under nine on women's. Want something that does really feel like it runs. Uh, this does do it. Um, if somebody has an overly flat foot, uh, that inner lamination may bite you a bit. Uh, I don't feel it at all. Uh, toe, back, toe box leaves a, a decent amount of splay. Uh, six millimeter offset feels fairly efficient in that mechanic. Um, so, uh, if anybody's looking for a shoe that maybe fits this bill, the um, Brooks Catamount. Uh, good first run. I'm excited to put more miles into them. Uh, this is a shoe uh, that releases in a few weeks. Um, I think it's the start of August, so maybe in about a month or so. Uh, keep your eye out for it. It retails at 160 a little bit pricey, uh, but that's just where it's at with the uh, DNA Flash and some of the other properties in there. Um, I imagine a good uh, crossover shoe. If somebody's looking for a shoe that would really go between road and trail, I'll see, I have to see what the durability of the outsole is like. And then, uh, again, if somebody is not overly technical, pitchy uh, terrain, I think this would handle it quite well. Uh, so check them out. Uh, Brooks, uh, thanks for sending this uh, my way uh, to check out. I'll keep putting some miles into them, weigh them back in if I have uh, uh, more things to add as they get up in miles. All right, catch you next round. See ya!